In this video, we are going to learn about the COBOL connector of Centerprise. To create a COBOL source, you go to the sources and drag and drop the COBOL source onto the designer. Then you can go to the properties. In the properties, the very first page will ask you about the location of the data file and it will ask you about the copybook. Copybook provides information about the structure of the data. So let's go ahead and point the application to a data file. This data file is uh, a file with the data in IBM EBCDIC encoding. I open the file and then I point the copybook to an existing copybook that has uh, information about the structure of the data. And uh, then I'll change the encoding from the, the default encoding to IBM EBCDIC US and Canada. By doing this, I have specified where my data is and uh, what is the structure of the data. Now I can move to the next page in the wizard by clicking on the next button and it shows me the layout. So actually it has read the copybook and it knows how the structure of my data is. The data has uh, four blocks and you can see here for each block if I click on the block node it shows me the details of the COBOL data definition. It uh, shows me the path, the length, the start position and other details such as occurs how many times and if it has any uh, depending on clause or not. If you go to the details of the fields, it shows me the details of uh, the field telling me the path, the length, the start position and uh, even the type of the picture, what kind of picture it is. It is S91, the data type and the uses. So you can see all these details for each of the fields by clicking on those fields inside the tree. Centerprise supports even the defines. For example, in this case, WS date field contains a field WS date cat and this field has been redefined and you can see here if I click on this uh, field it shows me when redefined properties because it knows that from copybook that this, this field has been redefined and it tells me that it redefines WS date num and that is uh, this another block inside uh, the date field WS date num and uh, we have to tell that how to identify the redefine for that I'm telling that um, the value starts at 0 and the length is 1 and compare the value if it starts with J that means it is the one that is a redefined one you can use even a regular expression in place of using a plain search so that's how you can uh, define even redefines other information is already in built inside the copybook so let's go ahead and go to the next page and this is where you can put in any comments if you want to for documentation purpose, click on OK and your source is ready. You can see here it has uh, all four blocks available and if you expand the blocks you can see all the individual fields and so on and so forth. At this point if I do a preview of this I should be able to see my data from my actual COBOL file. So that's how you can see the data in the preview and you can verify your data is correct. So in this case, a copybook was used to create the layout for the source or to tell the application that how my data is structured. Let's go ahead and have a look at that copybook. So this is the copybook file. Let's go ahead and have a look at the real file. So this is how my copybook is. It has uh, these blocks as you can see here, the numeric block, the character block, and date, date field. And uh, actually this is where the redefine is the one we just saw inside the user interface and it is redefining uh, the field that is WS date num. This is the field. So this is how uh, you can write your copy books, you can modify your copy books and it will immediately reflect inside the UI once you reload it. So basically UI is showing you whatever is defined inside this copy book. So this is one way to deal with the COBOL data inside the uh, Centerprise. 
once your data is ready in this format it is available for mapping out and you can send the data into any destination i already have a sample COBOL sample it's exactly the same layout as you can see here i'm taking the data from this COBOL source and putting into excel destination i'm sending the data into excel so depending on your requirements you can send them into any kind of destination be it excel sheets or comma delimited or in database tables or XML or wherever you want to send the data, you can send the data or you can do any kind of maps. So that's the first way of using COBOL source inside Centerprise when you have copybooks available. However, in certain cases, you may not have copybooks available to you. So in that case, you would like to see the data and guess the fields, what types they are, what are the picture types and all that. In that case, you will be using a COBOL data source inside a fixed length file source so let's go back to the data flow and uh, drag and drop a fixed length file source and we go to the properties of the fixed length source and specify the data file in this case i'm going to pick this sample data.ebc that is epsidic file again and specify the encoding that is ibm epsidic us canada and check this box where it says this is a COBOL data file that means the user has to specify the pictures and uses information and uh, pick a record length in this case I know that each record is uh, 59 bytes I specify that and I go to next page and it shows me the data after converting the EBCDIC into ASCII and shows me the ASCII data now at this point I have to specify what are my different fields so if you recall the sample copy book i want to pretty much copy the same structure and i know that it has uh, uh, one two three four different blocks and these are the different sizes i will try to do it manually so let's go back to this screen and uh, the very first block was the numeric block and it was about 24 characters long so i click on this position and it, it is representing this block next one was uh, the characters block it ends here and then it was date block that ends here and then it was a variable block so we are divided into four different blocks and uh, for each block there were different fields and if you look back the fields were length of uh, 1 8 and 15 so if I go back here I'll do 1 8 and 15 Similarly, I can do it here too. And this one is the redefined one. I'm going to leave it as it is because redefines are not supported when you're doing it using the fixed length. So that's how we defined all our fields. And uh, if we go to the next page, it shows me all the fields in the start positions. And if you scroll to the right, you can see here there are two columns. Those are important. First is the COBOL picture and second is the COBOL uses. So I have to specify what is the picture. So this is the only catch since I don't have the COBOL copy book. I am guessing and basically I need to know that what are my fields and what are their pictures and what are their uses types. So very first one I know that this is all S9s and then there, there are X and then we have 9s. So this is what I'm going to do. I will specify s9 for this one and this one and then it is going to be x for these three and then it was 9 for these two and then if you go to the users type we can pick if it is any type of comp, comp1, comp2, comp3, comp4, or pack decimal, or binary, or none. In this case, it is going to be none for all of this. And uh, if you go to the next, we are done with the layout. I can click on OK, and my source is again ready in this different format. I can do a preview at this point of time, and it shows me the data for each of the fields. So this is how there are two different ways to use the COBOL source one is using the copy book and another one when I don't have the copy book I can specify the uses and the pictures by myself and use it as a fixed length source
that concludes this video about COBOL source inside Enterprise. Thanks for watching this video.